And we're live. We are live. We're live, guys. With Hi everyone. Guest. You may remember him if you've watched any of our previous videos. You've right. done a couple videos for us. I've done two. This is Jacob Ross. Yeah. He's having a great night tonight. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> good tournament. Oh yeah. Good so, good month. <laughs> good month for me. We'll talk about that, I think, at some point. But uh, <laughs> just to reiterate for those of you who are joining us freshly here at round three. This is DaytonMagicClubWebsite.com presents Friday Night Magic at the Game Haven, where you do what? Get more for your games. You're long you the games. You do. Yeah. You get more for your games. So yeah. uh, we're going to give you guys a very special treat this round, the three for. We've, well, never, we've never done three-headed it giant. The three-headed giant of coverage oh, titles. We've done it before. I disagree. Me, Just Joe, a, and Cassie. I was not here for that. A little well, precursor to the rules of the three for that none of us are wearing clothes right now. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. This is... <laughs> He's a liar. Us, He's not playing for... <laughs> none of us are small men either. No, it's just it's a lot of men in this movie right now. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So, we have uh, a match here. We have Kyle is playing uh, Red Green... It's something. It's the Maharo's Monsters deck. It I is think. not. It's not. <laughs> no, it oh, plays okay. all kinds of spice. The Ancient World Defiance. It plays Clan Defiance. play Clan Defiance last round. Ooh, it plays Zerta... Something. The ancient. Yeah. Is that the, uh, is that the uh, Mana Flare 7-4? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that card because um, your opponent really sees it They first. get on top of it first, yeah. Yeah, which, I mean, with Devotion being such a thing, you can really just get blown out of the water. Well, we're off. Uh, we saw Scarland into uh, a Terminal Mystic. I believe Darren is playing uh, that three-color burn deck. No, he's playing uh, Boros. I actually, okay. I play against. So it's him. just a Skyland then. Yeah, yeah, it's just for white for Boros Reckoner. He also plays Boros Charm and Warlier's Helix. Okay, okay. You know, early Magma Jet on a Elvish Mystic. I like which that. Is a good. That's play. sweet. It's a good start. You um, scryed like a million times already. Like how can you lose? Right. Yeah, Magma Jet. Um, sometimes you just want to Magma Jet at the end of your opponent's turn just to look at the top two. It's it's a fantastic card. That's a good card. That's so, uh, you played this guy before you had your uh, your drop. Yeah. <laughs> so, far. so, how'd that go? Um, His deck, so I was playing Mono Red, of course, but his deck is extremely good against Mono Red. Yeah. I, even before Bort, he had War Leaders, Helix, and more Burn Spells. So, that's no good. And yeah. then he cited in, I think, 12 cards. Yeah. Anger of the Gods, <laughs> Young Pyromancer, Boros Reckoner. Yes. And I, I think that's it. Yeah, that's still pretty good. Does yeah. it need to be more than that? Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> So, so again, Darren, one of the Brain people. Tree into uh, hammer, hammer, the like, hammer, hammer, like Porphyros. Hammer's awesome. It's hammer time. It is literally, in fact, hammer time. So we have some two two haste guys crashing into each other. This is this is the magic of the gathering right now. Guys. Yeah, this is how the game was supposed to be played. <laughs> so um, hammer might be good in this matchup. Actually, actually, between two red mages, I do feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Ooh, that's uh, the. So Kyle's going to take damage equal to the number of cards in his hand. He's at 10 life. I'm a big fan of Toil and Trouble. Um, That's what it's called. Yep. Not in that deck and at that place. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of it as a uh, control finisher. What oh, uh, yeah. creature did yeah. you just play there? Something hasty because of the hammer, obviously. It could be a Hydra for two. It looks like it looks like a Witch Stalker. We've just been seeing Witch Stalkers all night. And it seemed to be a popular card today. Witch Stalker is good in this matchup. Yeah, very good. I mean, it has a huge butt and it has hex proof. So. Yeah, it just it'll it block forever. Yeah. It's gonna be there. Except for now, the Sonic Phoenix. The Sonic Phoenix, Phoenix is gonna do some work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kyle needs to get that off the table. Yeah, yeah. Kyle needs a removal spell ASAP. Uh, I think once Kyle gets to the point where he feels comfortable with activating the hammer, yeah, he's probably ahead. Hammer seems really good. Hammer yeah. is, uh, for those of you who don't know, it is two and a red. Tap it, sacrifice the land, put a three-three colorless golem in. Enchantment artifact Ooh. creature token. He's dead. He's That's dead. That's the old ball game. Lincoln, you missed it. It was Toil and Trouble right. into Boros Charm. Or Boros Charm into Toil and Trouble. see it. Right. Ten damage. Yeah. You're dead. Yeah, that, that can happen. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so Darren, I, I Remember said, when I said this is the burn deck? And you're like, no, he's not playing burn. Well, this is okay. the burn deck. This well, is the okay. standard burn deck. I guess to be fair, after a board against red deck wins, he was not the burn right. He's not a burn deck. But, yeah, in this case, we saw the, the deck. Uh, a lot of reach. That's what we lot, call Yeah, a lot of it. We just saw Rurik Thar get shown to the camera. <laughs> Kyle is Excellent. ready with a Rurik Thar. Speaking of Rurik Thar, have you seen the Legacy Elves list that plays Rurik Thar after Cyborg? I've heard tell of it. it the, goal, the whole goal is to, like, turn two, 
natural order for Rurikthar against the fast combo decks and just be like, there you go. Don't <laughs> Rurikthar. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Like, imagine if they have to, like, Cunning Wish for, like, an Eye of Nowhere and take 12 before they can even start going <laughs> off. Like, that's ridiculous. That's pretty <laughs> sweet. Yeah. So, uh, a little more about this matchup. Um, so, when Darren played against me, he stated that he was not the beat down the matchup, but I couldn't agree more. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, it'll be interesting to see what role he takes on after this game. I don't think he can afford to be the control deck. I don't know if he knows how big Kyle's deck goes. We, we, didn't, saw, see we didn't see much, and most of what we saw was small ball. Uh, yeah, exactly. Kyle's deck goes uh, goes fairly large. Yes, uh, it is. Yeah. I would say firmly a mid range deck and not an aggro deck. It, you know, yeah. the reason the hammer is there is really so you can curve out mm -hmm. above it with your exactly. bigger creatures and uh, and and get get a lot of work done that way. Uh, we didn't see that aspect. I'm curious if Darren is going to switch into his control deck mode here, mm -hmm. and potentially only to lose to a seven five. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see. Um, of course, he has the advantage of being up a game, which means that right. any surprises in game two can be compensated for in game three. And he'll be back on the play. Right. So, yeah. so uh, if you're Kyle, uh, I have no idea what crazy cards he's playing. He's got Clan Defiance. He might have... Uh, what's the one that your guys can't be blocked except by two more creatures and they get plus one, plus zero? Um, it's not Clan Defiance. It's not Signal to Clan. It's a new card. Yeah, it's, it's that, that new card, yeah. No, it's a, it's a Gruul card. It's Gruul Warchant. Gruul, Gruul Warchant. Yeah, Warchan. yeah, you yeah. can have Gruul Warchants yeah. in there. I mean, the, the deck is, is, is it's crazy. Gruul Warchant is a fantastic card. And I'm Kyle sure McDaniel, for those of you guys that don't play locally, don't know Kyle McDaniel, Kyle McDaniel is a lunatic when it comes to deck building. He, <laughs> he's he, a ringer. Yeah. He's a, he, he he's play, a, he's a great player. Uh, oh, he, yeah. He does yeah. very, very well. Uh, he has a Star City Games top 16 under his belt. Yeah, he at least has a couple top thirty twos. Yeah, with decks that he designed. Yeah, so yeah. he. Uh, but the uh, the fact of the matter is, is that it's really hard for me to sit here and say, uh, "Oh, we saw red green, so here's the card he's obviously playing." Because right. the man's a madman. Like I, I guess Stone Wrong. I'm like, well, the only red green deck in standard is the Mahara deck, right? And you're like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Zerta Ancient. Deck. Oh yeah, that one. Do yeah. we have uh, deck names, Joe? Uh, aggressive start of Elvish Mystic on turn one. Um, which is where you want to be. The the Wood Ancient Defiance. Defiance. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm and, sorry. And Darren wrote Burn for his. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So oh, oh wow. Geez. Okay, so this is fascinating. If Darren brought in his anger of the gods, this could be. Uh, Frown Town for a comic game. Well, he's still going to get 10 points of damage in. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, Kyle will definitely bring in the. That is definitely, <laughs> that is definitely the uh, turn two you like to see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Kyle McDaniel, <laughs> madman. I love this guy. Were those, uh, oh. War Clan Rampagers? No, no, no. That was the, that was the red green guy. Yeah, Zertai. Yeah, yeah Zertai, yeah. Kyle okay, McDaniel so cast it. God, he drew the land. Oh my God! Oh, well, well, he's speeding I mean, in. The uh, the bad thing about playing Zertal this turn is that he does. Up, I mean, he can play. Darren can play Anger of the Gods next turn. True, but you have a seven five. We still have a seven. Yeah. You still have a seven five. I mean, but you are ramping them potentially up to six, which could be Ancient Grudge plus any other spell to wipe the board. That's yeah, true. for yeah. sure. Yeah, Kyle's got one card in hand. We know what it is. What's happening? It really comes to anger of the gods. Uh, anger, <laughs> anger of the gods are bust here. Yeah, 100%. anger of the gods, and if he falls up with a chain, then... yeah, then okay, then you're fine. Yes. Without that sequence, you're in a lot of trouble. Okay, so Scryland. Yeah, that's not going to do it. You really needed a basic noun or a shock land. Now, yes, right now, um, Scryland is really not what you want to see. Scrylands are awesome. But no, I, I did not like them when I saw them printed, but they're really, really good. But it's not the best top deck in this exact situation. No, 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 no not now. <laughs> no, no, usually for your third land drop when you're playing a red deck, having it's one really of the land is pretty good. Man, I can't wait till we get like the um, some of the on, other on color ones for the color combinations. Yeah, they're going to turn gonna be very good. So we have to see what kind of response Darren has here. This could be a Mizu Mortars. I mean, All right, Chain to the Rocks. That, so, I mean, that does work. Maybe he did float his mana first, so he does have three mana left floating. Oh, another oh, change double change of the rocks. Okay. Uh, does he have double white mana? Uh, he can float double white off of the temple. 
The Christian. temple just came into play this turn. No, he has no, yeah, no, no. The the, oh, turn. I see. Okay, Black, white, white. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're okay, right. so that wasn't a bad turn, but Kyle does have another um, Zerta. Bam. Yeah. So he says, taste it. <laughs> he did say that, and he meant it. I'm, I'm assuming Kyle. We can't hear them. <laughs> but if I know Kyle, <laughs> he probably did not. Say <laughs> okay, good. So okay. Right. Uh, so but, now, if Darren has another answer, I. I think he's, he's in shape. okay shape. Yeah. Yes. What I sure. want from Kyle is peak eruption. <laughs> 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 that would be very good. I would. I mean, at that point, you just pick up your cards. Like the pain of eruption. Yeah. That is not how you spell that word. But mm-hmm. anyway, <laughs> he's he's only the editor. You yeah. know, he is. Well, I, I am the editor. Well, he's the he's the content manager. content manager. It's very important to keep these. It's crazy how not important. That is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that that was another chain of the rocks? Yes. I'm a big fan of chain of the rocks. That so. mountain must be ridiculous to see right now. Everything is just chained right to it. And it Phoenix. probably looks goth as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Got all of them chains. That's on just it. chains. It's like so, Hellraiser. Darren brought in Skullcrack. I wonder okay. why. I don't know. That's strange. Maybe maybe he assumes Kyle has the devotion to green game what, life. What was that? that was a. Yeah. Boon Sater uh, guy, so just to get in for some damage. So that's eight damage. Darren drops to eight. Um, we really need an answer off the top. Yeah. I mean, with how many Sater. cards does he have? Doesn't look like he has many cards left, right? I think he's holding them real tight to the chest. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> man. Oh, he didn't overload it. Oh, he doesn't have man. He doesn't he have man. Yeah, there's our tight chest. Right on. Yeah. I, uh, I thought I saw man, Boon Sater's a really good match of the Gathering card, guys. Yeah. It's fascinating. Yeah, it's, yeah. What's uh, that? Hammer? That's a Domery. Oh, Domri, okay. Yeah. So Kyle I think I think he could win. Or okay, give him close. Yeah, so Darren's now at two. I don't I wasn't a huge fan of the attack from the Phoenix. It was a little ambitious maybe, but yeah. uh, you know, I guess you gotta play to your outs, right? You know, right. You, yeah. you get him in range and then Anger try to the burn him out. Yeah. yeah. And there's even mortars on the uh the Seder. And then, and then, that's it. Pick and then I'm dead. Okay, well man, that was some that was some swingy Magic right there. I can't wait to see this next game. It's, it's was that exciting. a turn three Zertai Ancient? It was a turn three Zertai Ancient, yeah. followed by a turn four Zertai Ancient. This is the magic. And then they all got chained to the rocks. <laughs> I, I love this. This, this is, is sweet. Good. We've seen some really sweet ones tonight. I have to imagine Darren's going to go back to his sideboard and change things up a little bit. Now that he's seen the big guys. Yeah, and how, see how, how big and how quickly yeah. Kyle gets there. The, the, one of the Chain of the Rock's really good. Oh, yeah. yeah. One of the key difference. It is on the play, which matters. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, if Darren's side were any one drops, they're probably coming back in. Yes. Now, so. Where the Skylands were bad in the last game, I, I feel like they're much better on the play, especially turn one, turn two. Yeah. Uh, they don't necessarily matter as much. Um, right. Except for if you're playing against fast burn, which right. this is not. No. Um, really, you need you need your mana open on turn three, which Skyland on turn three does not help. So, and the other thing is, uh, Anger of the Gods is much better against the Elvish Mystic decks when you're on the play. Absolutely. Exactly, yeah. Uh, We wouldn't have seen that game play out the way it did. uh, Oh, it wouldn't even be close. Because uh, before Kyle could really get on board, he would have lost those two very key Elvish Mystics that allowed him to do so much of that damage. And and Kyle had to rip the land to play it, too. So he was very all-in on getting the the 7 fight. So this game could be different. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and give... Maybe the edge to Darren, based on all those things we've been talking about. So with that said, I don't think that it is uh, a given. Yeah. Uh, I think Kyle's deck certainly Boon Sader is really good uh, in this kind of matchup. Yes. Uh, the ability to come in at the end of your turn in a racing situation mm-hmm. is really good. Uh, it dodges a lot of the sorcery sphere removal <laughs> that Darren is playing. Right. Um, yeah, and when when you're playing the burn deck, you have to. Make sure that you have your clock figured out and your opponent's clock figured Absolutely. out. Absolutely. So if Darren's not expecting an end of turn boon Sater, then I, can, I might throw his math off a little bit. Oh, no Skylasher. So okay. Skylasher was awesome last round. Oh, you didn't yeah. get to see it. it. 20 points of damage. That's a lot of to damage. To the control deck. That, awesome. That's enough damage. Uh, Kyle's going back. I mean, if Darren keeps a, a pretty good hand with some early removal, this could really be what he wants to see having his opponent mulligan down. 
What uh, what does Darren close out games with? Just like a flurry of burn spells? Does he have any like big finisher? Or is it all like Chandra's Phoenixes and burn spells? Y- yeah, I, I don't. It wasn't any Chandra's big. or not that I saw. Okay. No. no, yeah, he and he's showing oh, us showing a us hand. Of, I saw some skull cracks. Looks like a lot of gas. That's all a chain to the rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like a pretty decent hand. This is I really good. wonder what the the skull cracks are in for. Good question. Um, uh, there, there's the uh, devotion to green. There is Nilia's Corsair Charger right, Centaur yeah. Man. And you gain life equal to your devotion. To yeah, which is, um, but we, he game. didn't see it. I don't know. I don't know. He may have put Kyle on the more stock green red monsters list originally. Exactly, which does play that card. Right. So especially after board. Yeah, you got to turn one Elvish Mystic again. Which is exactly Kyle's, what Kyle wants Kyle's to three for three on turn one Elvish Mystics, yeah. and it is going to die horribly. Okay, to a... that's a smart move. <laughs> that's a magma jet. That's no, a, that's, that's a, a lightning, lightning strike. strike. Lightning yeah. strike. Yeah, that was, that was a sh- heads up play for me. I mean, obviously, like if you're new to magic, that play might not seem so intuitive. Right. That is a uh, is that a scooze? scavenger? Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's the the, the Bolting the turn one mana yep. dork is like the classic, you know, bolt the bird because you bird. won't be able to bolt whatever the bird plays. Right, you know? absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And it does too. Ooze too. Bam. Yeah, wow. So the thing Darren, is, Kyle's down a card. Well, like, he's on, he was on the draw. Oh, so. there's a scavenger. Ooh, it's going to be able to eat stuff too. So if Darren spent all of his three points of burn, <laughs> he eats it right he now. He eats it right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because uh, we don't have a lot of, I mean, you got Mizzou Mortars left, but like Magma Jet won't do it now. Yeah, and Shock and, won't do it now. We right. did see a Skull Crack. I mean, you know what's going to be hilarious if Skull Crack is like really relevant against scavenging his life gaining, like in a tight race, is going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if that's, oh no. Okay, so no, the Chain to the Rocks. Rock's yeah. doing so much work. So, uh, but eventually Darren's going to be out of cards. I wonder then... if Kyle has peak eruptions in his board. <laughs> it, Darren found a way. Yeah, uh, he's a, he's a, a wizard. Did it? Uh, uh, so I mean, we're playing magic. a game with cards that do magic things. It's true. Do you really need explanations? Uh, a wi- a wizard did it. He froze these. I like that. And then chained it. And then chained it to the rocks. It's probably gross. It's a cold mountain. Yeah, yeah. It's not a warm mountain. So, so Kyle's cool. out of relevant threats. We're seeing uh, four mana, which could um, be a lot of things. Spark Trooper. That is Interesting. outrageous. <laughs> yeah, I am angry. So, about that spark trooper. so I, I was talking to Darren between he's, he's like, "Yeah, I decided not to bring in my spark trooper." So he actually have fifteen cards. Yeah, he gets one of all fifteen. Yeah, cards. but he said four man is kind of a commitment. Oh so. well, that's a card. Ooh, Storm Ooh. Dragon, really good. Yes. You can't misy mor- You can misy mortars. You can't yeah. lightning strike it. You can't magma jet it. You can't kill the rocks. It. Yeah, yeah. it, it dodges it. so much of that removal. Yeah. So Darren needs to have misy mortars. Um, can can Kyle Montress it next turn? Yeah, no, I think he's he has short. Nykthos. So yes. Right. Oh yes, he can. And that's can that's a Mizzium mortars. mortars that's well, we hadn't seen the mortars see. yet. So and the table shaking from rage. Yeah. yeah, we we hadn't seen one of his mortars yet, so uh, it's non reasonable to think that yeah, it could happen. But if man, man, if he had managed to monstrous it, so sweet. That would have been very good. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do we got, Kyle? Kyle in the tank. You can see that he's frustrated. Well, I would be too. From his hands. I can tell from his hands that he's frustrated. What's in his hand? I can't tell. Um, there's a gold card and it looks like an Ember Holler, but that can't be right. I hope it is right. <laughs> Ember Holler? Ember Holler is a great is that, card. That's a Zerta engine. Red counter spell? No. Nope. Crack, yeah. Skull crack, you. Kyle at nine. So Kyle's not in range of the um, burn spells. Yep. So Darren doesn't even necessarily need to win with creatures nope. anymore. Nope. Although well, Phoenix I mean, would be a great draw. He's untapping with eight mana, which is not a bad place to be. So that's double. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have yeah. seen. So, oh man, I just want him to have peak eruption, Kyle. Draw peak eruption. <laughs> yes, that would be strong. I mean, if he had them, they had to have come in with all of them. Kyle explaining to Darren how ridiculous <laughs> this is. <laughs> Said, I want you to understand it. He's, he's not happy. So, he just put it aside. He said, "You actually did not play this." Yeah, yeah, that didn't happen. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna put that aside. So and we're gonna oh, do it again. Um, <laughs> oh, he wanted to float mana before he stole. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, and Kyle pointed it out. Actually, okay, so. gotcha. Yep. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But I don't think Darren has any cards in his hand. So my oh no, nope, there's a one. card, and it's oh hey, well, it matters. He's gonna he's gonna draw some cards, I think. 
Uh, he's not going to do a one to Kyle. Oh, uh, well, no, it'd be, yeah. it'd be four. No, Kyle only has one card. Well, yeah, Kyle would draw two. two. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, it'd be, so yeah, it'd you're actually right. be yeah. uh, five damage. Yeah. Which might have been the way to go, actually. Scavenging Goose is a good one. Yeah, and he has... With uh, your opponent low on cards, Scavenging Goose is the kind of card that you need to get back in this game. Exactly. It gets you out of burn range and becomes a relevant threat. Yeah. Uh... Kind of the reason that you know scavenging is so that's good. That's a domery. Yep, that's another that's good one. Kyle's looking for some way to get relevant. Smash it on in. Some this is a tight, tight this game. Is a tight, this game is sweet. Yeah, this I'm is, really, this I'm really enjoy it. it. Yeah, it's worth pointing out that uh, both these players are undefeated. Oh, that's not what you want to see. Shock again. you. Oh, it's a tight race. I like I like when the game shifts to shock you mode. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Okay. Plus, it's worth it for Kyle to get the cards out of his hand. Darren has at least a couple Boom cards. Boom Boom That's and it. And Kyle pulls wow. it out. That was, I thought Kyle was dead. I did it as well. Hmm. Yeah. I, Looks like he had a chain to the rocks in hand. You, you don't want to hold on to that at that point in time. He had a chain to the rocks in hand? It looked like maybe, I, I, maybe it. Could have been. That can't be right. Yeah. Maybe it looked like the one he picked up. But yeah. 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 Because if he, if he would have, that's got, you got to snap chain that ooze. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and, I think the game would have been slightly different if Darren drew any of his war leaders. He looks at. Yep, didn't and that's see a, one. At one point, Darren was at twenty eight life. Yep. So no, that, that was that was really sweet. That was yeah. a sweet match. I like. That. And uh, Kyle's deck just jamming threats in there until one of them sticks. You know, and when you're playing the aggro deck against the control deck, oh, me and uh, Weasel were talking about this last round. Uh, modern threats are so good. Yeah. A lot of times, it just becomes. Do you have the the removal spell? Do you have the removal spell? The removal spell? No, then you're dead. Like it right. just gets to that Absolutely. point, and just the last threat standing is good enough to kill you. That's not always been the case in Magic. No, aggro is certainly much better than it's ever been. Right? Yeah. I mean, there was one point where if you played creatures, you got laughed at. Yeah. There's no reason. Yeah. Why, why? Why? Why bother? <laughs> you play like yeah. one uh, that a freak that could phase out for the point flip or whatever is your one victory just because who cares it's <laughs> yeah, academic yeah. rainbow of free rainbow of free <laughs> yeah. like because who cares right uh but, but so we see kyle uh take that uh match in in three tight games yes and that yeah, was very that was close awesome. kyle's deck looks sweet i mean it, it, it's hard it's definitely a red green aggro deck with some spice but the spice is sweet yes so we never really got to see Zerta Ancient do anything really goofy. It was immediately killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every yeah. time on site. I can't blame. Look at that sideboard. Oh, sad. That Darren sideboard is so uh, spicy. Darren didn't really get to utilize the Zerta Ancient on his turn either, which, yeah. I mean, that's what you want to do against Zerta Ancient, is you really need to make use of that turn that you get the Zerta Ancient. Yeah, he doesn't really seem to have anything that. like Thundermaw Hellkites, or no, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Storm Breath. Uh, Dragons to like really just on tap and be like, lol. Yeah. I mean, a double war leaders Helix would have been pretty, would have been good, pretty too. good too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, was, was like, I think, yeah, I think if Darren got a war leader, at some point. So, yeah. what we see here is uh, the advantage of going a little bit bigger. Yep. Slowing down a little bit, going a little bit bigger. Because unlike playing mono red against this kind of deck, uh, you can just jam one guy at a time and just kill a player with it, as opposed to like your two, yes. three no abilities. So, yeah, right. Uh, not, a, not as fast. You saw Kyle's, you know, even with his. Elvis Mystic sometimes get off a little bit slower start, yeah. but uh, just the consistency of the power level of yeah. his deck. And, and in Darren's yeah. deck, his creatures, he doesn't really care if they die. Yeah, like it's kind of like the old traditional red deck, where is. like you expect your creatures to be burn spells, yep. and then they die, and you don't really care. Spark Trooper was sweet. Yeah, Spark Trooper is a great card in that deck. Yeah, and like the other, like the like the actual mono red decks. You actually care if your creatures die because you need them to stick around because well, yeah, your well, burn spells are bad. Yeah, yeah, burn has yeah. gotten so bad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like we're down to like playing main deck lightning strikes and being happy to have them. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God they give us hearing spear again. <laughs> I mean, we're coming from a couple years back having lightning bolt being standard and stagger so. shock and like quenchable Rift fire bolt. and searing blade. Yeah, the, searing the, blade. all in the same format. Those were all in the same format. It was ridiculous. Uh, we're gonna get also, a little, uh, we're gonna send Darren into the booth here. Oh, and, awesome! Uh, and chat with him. Yeah, uh, that'd be great. Well, the forfer, forfer. <laughs> but he has to take off his clothes at the door. Right, that's the rule. That's just the rule. <laughs> that's the rule back here in the booth right now. So uh, oh, that's here he is. I think. Um, Come on in. Nope. All right. No, oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so uh, I like the burn deck. It's sweet. I don't know much about it. Uh, apparently, it's been doing well on Moto. 
Yeah. Uh, recently, uh, it seems awesome. Uh, there's so much You're good. Still rolling. If you want to do a. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, please, 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 please. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was yeah, sweet. Yeah. It was a good match. It was a tight set of games. Uh, Spark Trooper seemed awesome. Yeah, yeah, to two up in the sideboard. Yeah, that seems yeah. really sweet. Your sideboard looked really, really sick. Uh, yeah. If you're expecting a room full of aggro decks, that sideboard seems really, really good. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm definitely expecting a room full of aggro We were talking that uh, maybe it was kind of sad that you didn't get to see any War Leader Helix in that. That seemed have been would have been a paramount yeah. card. War Leader Helix would have been awesome. I didn't get to see any Anger of the Gods in nope. the sideboarded match in your games. Uh, you know that, that game? Museum Orders? Yep, yep. Uh, we saw a game where you know Kyle went in uh, all in on that like uh, burning tree emissary plan, and yeah. then like was like Scryland. It was like that's not that's not a good sign. <laughs> that is not right. an really good. But uh, Chain of the Rock seems really really well positioned right now for yeah. sure. That's it was really effective. Uh, those Zerta Ancients could have gotten. That might be a better. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Reckoner, Reckoner seems sweet. Uh, yeah, it could have been good. Rocks. <laughs> <It's top. laughs> but uh, this is Kyle McDaniel. Also, we have the Pfeiffer in the booth. This now. is a, this is a record. Prince is hanging out there. Uh, so, are you playing uh, Sacred Foundries in your deck? Sacred Foundries um, and all eight Sprite lands. So that's yeah. I, can I don't feel like we saw many Sacred Foundries uh, either. Game. We, we saw a couple yeah. of Sacred Foundries. I know I shocked myself once or twice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the next team was really sweet. Like we were watching, like literally, we, uh, Weasel here was looking up a card, and Kyle's at ten life. And by the time he looked up, the game was over. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I saw the deck on Magic Online like two weeks ago. I really wanted to build it, Cassie wanted to, and we never got around to it. Yeah. Toil and yeah. Trouble yeah. is one of those cards. Toil and Trouble is ridiculous. It just it never is, really yeah. found a home until now, and it seems so home. good. Yeah. And that's one of the boards. Yeah, I mean, after the first game, I didn't think you were that fast. Right? Yeah, we talked about that, right. where we didn't think game three, I probably could have seeing game. the game one that you, maybe you knew how his deck was set up, because right. you, it, 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 it definitely had a different draw those next couple of games. Yeah, we got my draw game for the night. It was the... Uh, <laughs> did you see I kept the one lander on top of all that? No. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, <laughs> and he had to draw the fifth lane. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. It was actual yeah, night. Must be nice. It's, it's still hard to board those out, because... You can you can still cast toil on the absolutely game. right, right. Yeah, yeah yeah absolutely and if when I your deck's out like cards I gotta have some way to refill my hand when your deck's mono one for one removal spells it right. seems really right. important to be able to get money. back it's up like, on a card and cast it right. <laughs> right and then uh, you know the, the one toil that I did cast I draw mountain, 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 yeah. and then follow up with mountain, mountain Spryland awesome it's just game over at that point yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was it you don't could have, could have gone better from that point yeah. there but love the magma absolutely the deck certainly looks sweet. Yeah, with Definitely. all the scry that with the you got eight scry lands and four magic jets. Yeah, so it looked yeah. really yeah. good. Yeah, you can almost keep any seven card hand. Bunch of really surprising. I know. I was surprised <laughs> by how good that looked. Twelve time. point life swing. It, if if you can get it out with Boros Charm in hand and six mana, it's uh, pretty devastating. Yeah, it seems. <laughs> I like it lets you raise. Like you gain lives to get extra yeah. cards. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then your creature package game one seems fairly light. It's Chandra's Phoenixes. It's four Chandra's Phoenix and four Rectus Kyclers. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Fractal yeah. Cackler is really good. You can't Doom Blade it. Right. Uh, you can't. Uh, it's just like like just a really good threat yep. at, at the one drop slot. Yeah. Outside of Yeah. Yeah. Seems yeah. really good. Yeah. It's pretty. I, usually those come out game two or three. When yeah. Trying yeah. to play the control role. I'll keep Chandra's Phoenix in there because it's a good late game, long game. Yeah, for sure. Do you play like any any Chandras or any Planeswalkers? Uh, I'm not familiar with the, the list. One Chandra in the sideboard. Okay. okay. Uh, Do you play any uh, Rakdos's mm -hmm. Return? No, um, I mean, you usually don't have enough mana to, to cast a big Rakdos return. Yeah, that seems reasonable. That's true. Unless you're playing against Zerta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have a lot. So <laughs> on tap, I will Rakdos return to you. I was right. hoping he didn't have a Royus Green in his deck. I was like, if I had no. cast this card, he had a Royus Green. <laughs> <laughs> That's dirty. The main deck's like, basically all four of uh, except for, <laughs> except for like, the new round. War Leaders, he looks really good. Yeah, that, that card would have been awesome. 20 personal land. Yeah. Those are the Bard's Velocity rights. Very yeah. cool. Well, thanks for coming in and talking to us about the deck. It yeah. looks awesome. Um, good luck the rest of your rounds. Thanks. All right, and uh, for those of you who are watching this, that was round three. A wonderful round three. A great round three. We've seen yeah. a lot of great magic tonight. We saw Kyle take that in three tight games. Uh, we had a, a quick deck tech there uh, with Darren, uh, which was which was cool. It was a sweet deck. Yeah, good us thoughts. I love that we're getting a lot of different decks tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Not, not the same thing over and over again.
So uh, to to sign off here, uh, we got the three for in the booth right now. I'm Ryan Johnson. We got Zach Weez. and the legendary, the worst player in the room, the by far. I don't know. <laughs> I'm close. pretty bad at magic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm Jacob Ross. For those of you, who and uh, we're Dayton Magic Club. Uh, and you can check us out at DaytonMagicalWebsite.com. Do an F and M coverage here at the Game Haven, where you get more for your games. Absolutely. Join us for round four, the penultimate round, where we'll start to really see how things are shaking out. Uh, for round five, I think first place was seventy one dollars tonight. Yeah, it's not bad for a five round tournament. Something. So oh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, definitely come back and uh, check us out for the uh, the second half of the tournament tonight. Weasel's Cube. We already, we already <laughs> talked about. I know. I was, uh, but yeah, right, we're out. check that article out. <laughs> Thank you. Join us. Not my. Oh.